Hi there, my name is Ryan Malloy. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the properties of an equilateral trapezoid. Before we can begin, it is important that we have clear, unambiguous definitions of what the terms mean. So first, the trapezoid. There are several different definitions of what a trapezoid is, but we will be using the most inclusive variety. A trapezoid is simply any quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Equilateral simply means that all sides are of the same length. So while you may typically see a trapezoid looking something like this, it's not possible for this to be equilateral because as you can clearly see, the bottom base is larger than the top base. So instead, we'll create a diagram using a more rigorous construction using our definitions. So we have four sides, all of the same length, and at least one pair of sides is parallel. What you get is a parallelogram, or a rhombus. And as a direct consequence of this, both pairs of opposite sides will be parallel. So what are some of the interesting properties? of an equilateral trapezoid. First, while there may, there may be di several different ways of calculating the area of such a shape depending on how much information you have, the most interesting one is if you have knowledge of the lengths of the diagonals, we'll call these D1 and D2, the area of the entire trapezoid is simply equal to d1 times d2 over 2, which is a very handy formula. Next, we'll talk about some of the relationships that the interior angles have. So let's call this angle alpha. Well, because these two lines are parallel, this line forms a transversal. And as a direct consequence, this angle must be 180 degrees minus alpha. And by a similar logic, this will be 180 minus 180 minus alpha, or alpha again. So, one of the cool properties of an equilateral trapezoid is that from any one angle, you can easily determine all three of the other angles. Finally, Let's talk about some of the symmetries of an equilateral trapezoid. First, there are axes of symmetry along both of di the diagonals. But more interestingly, the shape also has rotational symmetry of 180 degrees. Meaning that if you take the, the shape and rotate it 180 degrees, you'll get exactly the same shape again in the same orientation. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed some of the properties of equilateral trapezoids.